Welcome to Digital Asset News, the good top stories in crypto. I am bringing out a bite-sized piece. It's today, just as the thumbnail suggests, Jack Dorsey, the person behind Twitter and Square, is coming out with a Bitcoin decentralized exchange. If they can pull this off, I'm telling you right now, this is going to be massive for the market. So we'll take a look at what's going on there. We'll also take a look at uh, inflation. Uh, as some uh, economists, or most economists, just were totally oblivious to it, which is uh, amazing to me. I'll also take a look at uh, Gemini and some big metaverse plays, and also KuCoin and others getting into the metaverse. I'm telling you right now, do not sleep on the metaverse. It will be huge. So we'll get into all those things. But first, take a look what's going on in the market. So today is a beautiful day and Saturday. Very nice. We're looking at... Uh, Pretty good market cap. We're looking at 2.62 trillion for a market cap of a of a sliding crypto market, and we're okay with this. We'll take this. We'll take the win. And it looks like uh, if you believe it, uh, maybe that was just one more uh, little whale games or little uh, uh, dip. Maybe there's one in the future. But in all honesty, when we talk about these things about what's going on in the future. All this stuff doesn't matter. No one is going to remember these dips. No one's going to give two cares about it. And I'm telling you that as time progresses, the number of Bitcoin and these crypto markets is going to be so small, it's just going to be almost laughable. So let's just break into today's top story. But before we do that, you might notice that there's this little uh, slide going on where it says, scam alert, Dan will never contact you. Look, I've been getting a lot of different uh, messages that there's somebody in, who knows, uh, Telegram or some other different uh, places where they just keep talking about how, oh, uh, you reached out to us and uh, we paid you a bunch of money. Now, where's our um, where's our promotion uh, video or whatever else? And uh, I don't do that. I don't reach out to you. Uh, so when I say I'm going to keep this up for as long as I possibly can, where I talk about I will never contact you, I will never contact you, period, for any type of promotion. I get 30 offers a day. I don't need to contact you for anything that I want to do. It's hard to make it like that, but it has to be harsh. Never believe that I contact you because I won't. So that's what's going on there. So let's just jump into <laughs> after that little nice little piece. Uh, Bitcoin Dex. And I'm when I saw this, it didn't really register with me. I'm like, oh, Dex, great. Not a big deal. We're talking about a Bitcoin decentralized exchange. This is huge. And this is what is going on. Let me blow this up so you can see what I see. And we'll go over this. So the protocol's white paper has been released. I know we were not really big uh, uh, excitables about uh, white papers because we've been uh, since 2017, the ICO white paper craze. We don't really care. But this one is different. So the TBDEX protocol aims to bridge the gap between the fiat and Bitcoin worlds. And when I say it's different, it's because the people that are behind it. If it was just some Joe Schmo off the street, I wouldn't care. I wouldn't even cover this because it's Jack Dorsey who uh, has two billion dollar companies or multiple billion dollar companies in Square and Twitter. Gives him a pass. Uh, you can't know where you're going until you know where you've been. And we, I always like to invest in people. This guy's already done it twice. I think he can uh, bring us to the promised land. We'll see. Anyhow, most people just to get a little context, still receive their paychecks in fiat and pay taxes in fiat currency. This project aims to make it easier for those who want to convert their debasing fiat, this is important, their debasing fiat for appreciating Bitcoin in the purest free market possible. So what they're talking about right now is essentially taking cash and in some way being able for you to get that into Bitcoin in a decentralized manner. Also on top of that, to be able to swap for different cryptocurrencies. I think that's pretty darn big. And this is what kind of threw me. There is no governance token. Instead, the TBDEX protocol allows participants to negotiate trust directly with each other. So there's no middleman, there's nothing like that. Transaction fees, uh, the statement explained, would be determined by the free market based on the amount of information each participant is willing to disclose. And when it talks about that, there's two things. First of all, the free market should dictate what the price is actually going to be. And the last part where it says how much the information you want to disclose, what it'll be is it'll be a little, it'll be more expensive if you want to maintain anonymity and it'll be less expensive if you want to give out more information. So depending on what kind of tra transaction you want to do, a little bit private, a little bit more expensive, a little less private, a little less expensive. That is what this is all going to come down to. And I, for one, am excited about what this could actually bring. So to finish this up, uh, the TBDEX protocol also facilitates the secure exchange of the minimum necessary identity information. 
acceptable to counterparties in order to satisfy requirements, be they legal, regulatory, or related to any other consideration of risk. So pretty much what I said, but just kind of going into uh, a little bit more detail. So I like that. I'm not a big fan of giving up my information, my data. And if you're watching this video, you're probably the same way as I am. And then to, to delve deeper, I'm going to link this uh, as well. This was uh, a blog post where they get into a little bit more, uh, more minutia. And I like this part. Fiat rails are regulated. We know that. AML, KYC. We cannot anatomically swap a crypto asset with a physical good or service, which would be great, right? Hey, mow my grass, and then it'll be automatically swapped out for uh, Bitcoin or whatever else. I mean, I guess you could, but it's kind of tough. Nor can we atomically swap a crypto asset for fiat currency or world world asset that requires social trust. Now, that is a big thing. To be able to at atomically swap your dollars for Bitcoin, just like that, I'll take that all day long. And this was interesting, decentralized identifiers or DIDs, which is mostly made famous lately by Cardano and what they're providing in Africa, provide part of the solution by enabling verifiable digital identities that facilitate trustworthy exchanges between counterparties. But the main benefits are lost if the DID method is not implemented in an open, permissionless and censorship manner. Solutions does not rely on a federation to control permission. There is no governance token. Instead of DBDEX, allow participants to negotiate trust uh, inter intermittently with each other. And again, transaction costs are ultimately driven by risk. So I think if we're talking about the next evolution of what Bitcoin can do, look, it went from a cryptocurrency to a store of value after 2017 craze because it just became unusable because it became too expensive. Then it went back to be an actual currency with a side chain or a layer two solution, which is with Lightning and uh, El Salvador. And now we're getting into smart contracts with Taproot as well as a decentralized exchange with Bitcoin. So baby Bitcoin is the big protocol and we'll see how it all plays out. I believe there's a lot more room for other players in the game, but this I think is a game changer. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Let's move on to our next piece. Inflation, everybody's favorite uh, term, which is what I think one of the bigger drivers <laughs> of the crypto market. Oh, and then of course, here's the white paper. I got to link that in there. So this one right here, I found this hilarious because it was the, from The Economist that says, the sharp increase in inflation over the past year has blindsided many economists. Almost no one saw it coming. And I wrote, that's hilarious because over crypto Twitter, we all saw it coming and we all knew it was coming out of the pipe. So um, to me, this one didn't make too much sense. But just so you know, the CPI uh, and the different inflation factors that are out there is somewhere between 7% and 15%. And if the old world that is out there that, that uh, says, oh, we know, we know exactly what it is, we know what's going on, I think they're so out of touch with the reality that is this world today, that it's just hard to take anybody uh, seriously in that old guard. There's some people that can kind of move in, but this is just a prime example of why the old guard really, it can't be trusted. And now it's up to us to really do our own research and kind of make and blaze our own paths. And that's why I think we're in crypto and digital assets. So if you're worried about, uh, about inflation, well, you're in the right place. That is for sure. Also, which leads me to uh, one of my next points. If you are worried about inflation coming up for Christmas and all the different gifts you got to get, no worries. There's this thing called Crypto Tuesday. I don't know if you've heard of this. This is new to me. So I'm pretty excited about this. You've got uh, Black Monday and Cyber Friday and all that stuff. Now you got Crypto Tuesday. So apparently with shopping.io, uh, they're going to allow you to get up to 50% discounts on all the items that you purchase from Amazon, eBay, Walmart, and Home Depot. Pretty crazy, right? And uh, just so you know, I covered shopping.io over on our other channel, uh, Digital Asset News Clips. It's the one uh, right here. It says only 1 million. It's kind of crazy because they've only got their, they only have 1 million tokens, which is pretty uh, insane to me. But uh, yeah, they're working with uh, some of these big names in the space, Amazon, eBay, Walmart, and Home Depot. So here's how it works. November 30th, 7 a.m. Eastern Ten, so nine days, just so you know, this is how it all goes down. Uh, you can choose any item from Amazon, eBay, Walmart, you go to your car for checkout, choose your payment method, and then you get up to 50%. If you want a bigger discount, subscribe to the VIP plans, uh, pay with your favorite cryptocurrency or PayPal. Here's the great thing. If you don't even have SPI, it doesn't matter. If you don't hold any crypto, but still want to enjoy the 50% discount. You, all you have to do is sign up for the free plan. 
and check out with PayPal. So if you don't even have crypto, you can do it like this and get up to, you know, 50%, which I think is pretty awesome, right? So just so you know, I'll link this in the description. Shopping.io, this is the main website. If you scroll down, here's the different plans. You got a free plan, sign up. You got dynamic where you have one SPI. Remember, there's only 1 million SPI tokens, just so you know. You can sign up here. VIP is 1,000 SPI tokens. Just so you know, SPI token is about 40 bucks a pop each one. And I talked to the guys over there at, at uh, Shopping.io. I go, hey, any plans to drop that? Because that's like 40,000 for the VIP. And they're like, nope. And I'm like, okay. So I have a couple of SPI. I got, I got more than 50, so I'm doing okay. I got more than one for the dynamic. So at least I get 5%. And then there's this business part here. So sign up whichever you want to. If you just want the free one, go to the free one. I mean, whatever you want to do. And then uh, here's how it works. So let's go shopping. So you just click on here. Let's see. Uh, let's put in a ladder. I want a ladder. I want Bang Energy Drink. That's what I really want. Cool, Bang Energy Drink. Uh, so this stuff's great. I drink a lot. So right here, you got a 20. So you got Amazon. And you can click on eBay, Walmart, or Home Depot. But... Amazon.com has it for 24 bucks. Great. I'm going to click right here. See where it's got this little, like, uh, it's a cart icon. Let me blow it up so you can see it. that right there. So I'm going to click on that and add it to my cart. And then up in the upper right-hand corner, again, the cart. See, I've already signed up for this, so and I already have it connected to my MetaMask wallet. So just so you know, that's how you want to do it if you want to get that 5% discount. But when you click on this, I got two of them. I'll take two. I don't care. Uh, so I get 5% because I've got more than one SPI. Great. That's just off the top. But on November 30th, when this all happens, there's going to be a little dial right there. You're going to click on that dial. It's going to give you up to 50%. It's kind of like, you know, uh, if you get it, you get it. It could be 10%. It could be 20%. It could be 50%. It just depends. So I'm going to use this myself. And uh, you just going to go to proceed to checkout. Then you put in all your billing information and so on and so forth. And just down here, this is where you can use crypto. It depends on where you're at. Like I'm in the States, so I got two options. I got Coinbase or PayPal. Internationally, you can probably use Binance and other different things, but that's what I got right here. Or I just use PayPal, I do it, and I proceed to Coinbase and I pay and I get my discount. So check that out if you want to at your leisure. And that takes care of that. Let's move on to our last pieces where again, do not sleep on the metaverse. That's all I'm saying, which is this. Gemini, Winklevoss twins, raised 400 million in funding to help it build in the metaverse to go head to head with their arch nemesis, Mark Zuckerberg and Facebook. These guys will never stop fighting over supremacy. Interesting. So this is what we got. New York based Gemini said Wednesday it raised 400 million on new growth equity funding round led by Morgan Creek Digital with participation from the Commonwealth Bank of Australia and others. This injection of outside finance means the crypto platform is worth seven billion dollars so look i know people are kind of skeptical about the metaverse and uh if it's going to actually have any legs and go from here but just look who is investing into it i mean look you got gemini they're going pretty big and then on top of gemini you got uh kucoin which is the next story but i'm just going to just bypass this one kucoin labs launches 100 million metaverse investment funds that's all you need to know so they're getting into it on top of the fact that you've also got uh, these big players getting into it. So Meta's Metaverse or Facebook. You've also got Microsoft's Metaverse. Uh, you got NVIDIA's Metaverse. You got Roblox. They're getting into it. You got uh, Niantic. Uh, those are the ones for uh, Pokemon Go. You got uh, Qualcomm uh, building blocks of the Metaverse. Samsung. You've got Tencent. And that's the ones that they're a huge gaming company. And then Unity uh, is big on the Metaverse. So if you just take a look at where big money is going, and you're like, I don't get it. Try to educate yourself as best as possible. And the best way I can tell you, because I'm biased, is just go to my, I made a playlist. It's all free. It's uh, on, my, on my YouTube channel. And it's my four videos that I did. I just talk about, this is probably the, the best one I've done. Uh, this is with me and Crypto Stash. I just call it Don't Miss This. It's all about why the metaverse is where it's going and how it's going to take off. The next one I talk about buying land in the sandbox. So why I'm big into not only just real land and real estate, but virtual land. That is my next big push. And I talk about Facebook, the metaverse, and so on and so forth. So so look, that really just uh, ends it up for today. The next iteration of this channel is to keep with the core of crypto and digital assets and talk about the main stuff. What's going on with Bitcoin? What's going on with Ethereum? What's going on with all those things that 
you know, the meat and potatoes, blue chip type of things. The next part is to talk about the outsides, which is some of these up and coming type of uh, projects that look good and not scammy. But the bigger play, in my opinion, and I think this is a two to three year play, is metaverse, land, play to earn gaming. And that's the focus it'll be moving forward. And that's it. So let me know what you think about that direction as far as the channel goes. And that is it for today. So look, if you've made it this far, I want to say thanks for sticking with me. I appreciate it. If you liked today's video, found some value, give it a thumbs up, give it a like. Also consider subscribing because these next three months are going to be, next two months, excuse me, are going to be crazy. That's it for today. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.